Thankfully, we're just dealing with rain today. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a cool rain, 50s for temperatures while it rains uh, here in North Texas. And it's going to rain for most of us pretty much for the rest of the day. And one of the reasons we're getting this rain is due to a hurricane that made landfall yesterday evening in Mexico. Hurricane Willa came ashore uh, at a, as a Category 3 with winds well over 100 miles per hour. A lot of rain, a lot of wind, as you might imagine. And then as it moved into the mountains of uh, Mexico, it really fell apart. But tremendous amounts of rain and mudslides are a big threat and officials are working to get folks to local shelters there in that part of Mexico. And the moisture from Willa has made our rain possible today. As we look at the radar, you can see we're pretty much locked in with a lot of rain here in North Texas, including the Metroplex. And this is just really the start. We're going to continue to see rain throughout the rest of the day. Occasionally it comes down a little bit heavier than other times. The color of yellow here right along I-35E from Louisville down into North Dallas near Love Field. This is where we're looking at some moderate rain. Same story from Garland and Saxe up toward Plano and Wiley. Some moderate rain falling in South Arlington and Mansfield moving in towards South Grand Prairie. Now we'll just kind of see waves of rain the rest of the day. Look where, where it's coming from and there's a lot more to come. It's, rain, it's uh, raining solidly there all the way back toward Midland, Odessa and all that rain's moving our way. Won't well, stop raining here until probably close to midnight tonight. You can see the raindrops on the lens at Toyota Stadium in Frisco. 55 in Frisco, Plano, Allen, 56 in McKinney. And those temperatures really aren't going to change a whole lot more for the rest of the day. We may make it up to 60, but I think most of us will be in the 50s all day with a near 100% chance of rain as we make our way through the rest of the afternoon and evening. Rain chances, as I mentioned, will taper off, but only as we get closer to midnight. This rain is washing some of the pollen out of the atmosphere, though. The only thing showing up is mold in today's pollen count, no ragweed. As we take a look at the, uh, the rest of the future sky forecast rain moving in for the rest of the day so widespread rain temperatures upper 50s to near 60 rain continues even at nine o'clock tonight it's still going to be raining and then the rain will finally push off to the east and tomorrow will be mostly cloudy but at least it stops raining it will be dry tomorrow if you're looking for the sunshine that's coming back on friday friday looks fantastic with the sun returning and temperatures near 73 for highs on Friday. Rainfall amounts today. Let's talk about that. I do think we'll see anywhere between an inch and an inch and a half of rain with everything that comes down today and tonight. That's certainly a lot of rain, but it's going to fall over a long period of time, over several hours worth of time. And that means we're not too concerned about any flash flooding. We could have some ponding on the roads, obviously, for the evening commute and even during the lunch hour. So be aware of that and be careful. But this is not going to be a severe weather event or anything that creates a lot of flash flooding, thankfully. So just a moderate rain the rest of the day into tonight. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, dry, 62. Beautiful weather Friday. Gets even better Saturday, sunny, 82. We're back in the 70s with sunshine on Sunday and pretty quiet to start next week. All right, Jeff, thank you very much.